Okay, here we are with a 67-year-old male. Chief complaint is pain, lower left quadrant, number 17. So we've got him anesthetized. We're going to go through there. This tooth doesn't look like any big deal. But, as I state, it's fraught with danger. As you'll note, um, we're getting everything set up here on the video. And, um, nice little hairy tongue there. You'll note that 18 and 19 have um, old metal crowns on them. I'm using a Woodson WTS-1 right now to try to um, release the tissue around the, the neck of the tooth. I like that um, that. 45 degree angle on the WDS-1 because it'll allow me to get back around the back and I'm just going down the sulcus and I'm going to take a 301 and the one thing I want to do is I'm, I'm concentrating on the on number 18 because I don't want to pop that thing off even though on my um, uh, consent forms it, it talks about that you know you just don't want to break break that doggone tooth or break it off. So i got some movement going on right now. And, um, you know, I've got a choice. Uh, they're, the roots are somewhat split, but not much. So I could go with a 23 or a 151. Remember, I've got three forceps in my office, a 150 for the uppers, a 150 for the 151 for the lowers, and a 23 for the, the um, lower bifurcated roots. Sometimes I'll use those, um, you know, even if the root isn't a bifurcated one, but a molar nonetheless. But um, anyway, so I'm going to start moving a little bit, doing a little bit of figure eight. You can see that the tooth is already popped loose. I'm, I'm two minutes into this whole process. Um, I'm not overly concerned about doing something in five seconds or ten seconds. I want to make sure that when when everything's all said and done, I haven't, uh, I've been as atraumatic as possible, and I'm not having to go back and repair a bunch of stuff that, that I boogered up during the course of the, the uh, extraction. And I'm just very concerned about that number 18 right there. What I'm doing right now is just going through and cleaning, cleaning out uh, any tissue that might be in there, checking to make sure there's no loose bone, and, um, and we'll go from there. Uh, irrigate with normal saline once again 0.9 percent uh, um, sodium chloride and uh, I just like that uh, 60 cc syringe um, we can really pump some some fluids in there um, and just looking at it again and everything seems to be pretty uh, pretty decent he's oozing just a little bit um, not on any kind of blood thinners other, other than a aspirin regimen and, and you're going to get uh, a little oozing the differentiation between oozing and bleeding so uh, pressure is your friend in this case so here we're going with a wet 2x2 two two gauze and I'm going to pull out the bite block anytime I do stuff on the lowers I want to isolate that mandible with a bite block and 99% of the time I'm going to use a child size you know uh, once again, I can shove it to the back. But anyway, good day.